What is up you guys, Sean Allen here. Welcome to another really cool video from Universal Studios Hollywood. So if you don't follow my weekly updates, you should. At the very end of this video, I have a very special playlist on the end slate that you should probably check out. I'm gonna show you guys different locations around Universal Studios Hollywood where you can get special photo ops with some of the vehicles that have been screen used in some of Universal's films. A couple of them are not Universal films, so just letting you know ahead of time, but a lot of them here, are from Universal Films, screen used. Let's go find them all. So right over here by the store used to be Ron's car from the Harry Potter films, especially from the Chamber of Secrets. And it was screen used. However, this is no longer a Harry Potter store. This is now a Jurassic Park 25th anniversary store. So it's no longer related to Harry Potter, so Ron's car has flown away. Over here by Waterworld, they have some of the jet skis that were used in Waterworld. They even have one that you can sit on for a photo op. It looks like you're being chased by smokers. Directly inside the entrance to Waterworld, they have the glider that was used in the movie. And over here to the right, that's the Mariner's boat. Now, I will say this, they say it's screen used, but I have an issue with that because it's not an exact like life-size boat. The boat itself would have been a lot bigger. What I'm trying to say is this is a miniature. This isn't a life-size boat. This is a miniature-size Mariner boat. Currently, Waterworld is down when I'm recording this video. I do not know when it's going to be open, but hopefully soon. All right, we're here at Mills Diner. We have one of the cars that was used in American Graffiti. It's a 1932 Ford Deuce Coupe, as seen in American Graffiti, 1973. Right here, this is brand new. Hasn't been here before. That's quite a hot rod. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't call this a vehicle photo op, but it's definitely a photo op. It's the crashed helicopter at the Walking Dead attraction. Right over here at the Strand Hotel, we have this 1926 Ford Model T steak bed truck that was used in Oh Brother Where Art Thou? That's really old. It's almost 100 years old. How about that? 1926. It's 2018. Getting close to 100 years old. That's, that's pretty old for a truck. Here we have a police car over here that was used in Public Enemy 2009. It's a 1935 Chevrolet Model EC601. And here come the characters from Madagascar. Oh, he needs to run. <laughs> so there it is. A police car from Public Enemy. Another photo op right there. In case you're looking for the police car, it's right here in France. So these scooters are here just as a photo op. I don't think these were used in any particular films. Just on the very edge of France, we have a 1939 BMW R71 that was used in, part of my French, as they say, in glorious from 2009. There it is, the majestic Hogwarts Express. So even though Ron's car is gone from the main entrance, they still have the one here at Hogwarts, right there. It's crashed right in front of Hogwarts Castle, as you can see. Universal Studios Hollywood is well known for its world-famous studio tour. And as you can probably imagine, guests love to take pictures while they are on the tour. Along the route, you can see actual production cars that were used in certain Universal films and television shows. Such cars include the remake of Kit in the 2008 version of Knight Rider, the Magnum P.I. car, some of the Fast and the Furious cars, and some of my personal favorites, the Flintstone cars. You can also see vehicles that were used in Jurassic Parks 1, 2, and 3. One of those vehicles is the science lab that was used in Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World. In the Fast and Furious Supercharged ride, you can see the truck that Roman Pierce drives, as well as the armored vehicle that belongs to Agent Hobbs. So down here at the lower lot, there aren't that many places to do many photo ops. There is one by Jurassic Park where they have a raptor encounter. Also, they have another area where they have 
would have a stationary Raptor with a signed piece of cement from Steven Spielberg himself when they opened up the ride. But there is one vehicle down here by Transformers The Ride 3D that you can get a photo op with. Here it is. This vehicle right here was used in Transformers. This is a 2005 custom-built buggy called a landmine. Actual picture car from Transformers, the first film, from 2007. Ooh, I don't want to get hit by that thing. It's got a big scope. <laughs> and does it work for the Autobots or the Decepticons? Works for the Autobots. And that's about it, folks. Those are the vehicles you can see right now at Universal Studios Hollywood. I will post updates as to whether or not they remove one or they add new vehicles. Segway. I actually have very cool weekly updates from Universal Studios Hollywood. You want to check out those videos? Check out the end slate. At the very end of this video, I have a whole playlist of videos. Also, speaking of my other videos, be sure to check out my other trips at the Los Angeles Zoo, the Aquarium Pacific, Travel Town basically anywhere here in Southern California. I also have three other channels, the Disneyland Video Series, the Educational Series, and the Travel Town Series. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I also have a P.O. Box, so if you guys want to send me viewer mail, the P.O. Box address is down below in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching in scene, and as I say in Hollywood, and yes, we are in Hollywood, that's a wrap. Cut, print, chat game, move along. <laughs>